Hi, welcome back. Okay, now that we have understood how to use an array list, how to add elements from an array list, let's go ahead and use this knowledge that we gain in our project. Let's now define uh, the course instance object to actually contain array list and not arrays. So let's start updating the tests to contain uh, the array list. I'll just make sure that the tests are running fine. Alt Shift X, non JNIT test. Okay, good. That's fine. Course interest tests, everything is running fine. Now I would want to make sure that these tests are running fine. Um, before this, now our students we had earlier created as an <coughs> iris. Actually, uh, you can uh, convert an arrays into list by using arrays dot as list function. So I would use that function actually to convert a list of values into an array. So arrays dot as list. I'm creating. I'm changing the earlier code which was present, which was declaring a student array to array list of student. So what I've done is change the array list of student to uh, do this. So I'm for now I'm using something called an interface. Uh, I'm using a list and not array list. Um, list is a interface uh, which defines the methods which an array list contains. And array list is an implementation of that interface. Don't worry about it right now. You can uh, for now assume that uh, you can use list and array list while declaring an array list interchangeably so that's as simple as that now i can go ahead and set student obviously it would give me a compilation error right now because the students is not uh, the set students method actually right now expects as array and not an array list so i'll change the remaining test also to similarly so here i'm creating a new student array so i'll change this to array list also array list obviously like I'd rather use list is equal to arrays as list so this would create a list from a number of elements uh, I could have added in uh, I could actually have done something of this kind also so I could have done something of this kind saying array list students I'll come in this line of code here and I could have done something of this kind array list students is equal to new array list then I could have added in students dot add student one students dot add student two and went about doing the re remaining stuff but the way I would want to approach it is to reduce the number of lines of code that I use to as minimum as possible and also to an understandable way. I find writing this piece of code to create a list arrays dot as list student one and student two it almost does the same thing as doing this. So I'm going to remove this stuff and I would go back to the earlier way of writing code and I would set student obviously would not work. So these are the two things that we have fixed. Now let's go ahead and make the code compiled. So what we need to do is now convert, change the method set students. Go ahead and change the implementation from array to use a list. So I'll declare uh, instead of student array, I'll declare it as a list of student. And obviously I need to change uh, the other things also which make use of the getters and setters also. So I'll go ahead and do that list and this also should be a list and let's just uh, make sure that we import I'll do a command one or control one and do an import list I need to make sure that wherever I use list I actually use list of students to avoid at least giving me a warning about Okay, I think uh, the other, just the only other thing that we need to change would be to change this students.length method. That was the way you get the number of elements in an array. 
here we need to use the students dot size method to get the size of an array list so i think that's basically it so we have it compiling the change from array to list has caused two compilation errors let's look at these two errors um yep i think this is because this is the way we were using to access the elements from array but to get the elements from an array list i should use get of zero and over here something similar i need to use get of one so i think that's about it let's try running this test and see if everything succeeds one of jmit test okay that's good let's take a second look at encapsulation in the next video we are creating more videos as we speak and if you want to stay updated don't forget to click the subscribe button if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and feel free to share this video thanks for watching until next time